Well, are we going into 2024? Smelling lovely. Keep on watching. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of the Fragrantition where I've got it at, at an angle. You're looking up, you're seeing my double chin and I don't care because this is the year of not giving flying figs. Yes, it's the year of not giving flying figs. And if you're in that camp, then please keep on watching. Please subscribe. Please. Look, I've just... I've got over 5,000 subscribers and do you know what? I was watching Lulu yesterday and she was unedited Lulu. If ever you've watched Lulu's World, she's unedited Lulu. She is just says it like it is. She doesn't care. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just sat here in my boudoir, boudoir attire, just popped a little bit of mascara on. Actually, these lashes, if I come up here. They're quite long, aren't they? Just two coats of mascara. So we're going into 2024, just like this. Just natural. No filters, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. So I thought, right, okay, I've got to 5,000 subscribers. I mean, thank you. I mean, it, it, it means the world, really. You know, I mean, God. And I want to talk about really five fragrances um, that are new. Yes, that are new here on this channel. That are that I've that were gifted to me from Christmas from Richard and my dad. And that's how I wanted it. I had a very quiet Christmas. What about you? Did you have a quiet Christmas? Let me just adjust this. I'm going to adjust it slightly. Oh, it doesn't make any difference, does it? So um, what am I going into 2024? I'm just going to let Claude in because he's meowing outside. So just bear with me. And if you're a fan of Claude, Claude, Claude. Just wait one moment while I just move my posterior. Do you want to come on in? Come on then. Come on then, darling. You will come in, won't you, when I've sat down? Here he comes. Yes, my darling. Do you want to come on up? And here's Electra. Have you have you missed Claude as much as? Come on, come up here, my baby boy. There we go. There he is, in all his glory. Twenty twenty three has been a funny old year. It's not been the best year, has it? But then in some ways, it's not been the worst year. And here's to another year of sobriety. So let's cheers to that. Um, I'm going to try and make more videos. I am going to desperately try and make more videos. I've been so... Uh, I've been a bit lazy. Yeah, I have been a bit lazy. Have I been lazy, Rich? Yep, much definitely. You heard it from him. But... Here I am with my pussy on my lap. There he is in all his glory. Let's adjust that a bit more. I'm doing just an unedited version here. I don't care. I don't care. Natural. Natural is what I want to be. Natural is what I want to be. Make sure you get Claude's good side. Yes, I've just shown Claude's good side. I've just shown his good side. So 2024, I'm going to talk about fragrances that I love. I'm not going to do lists. I'm not going to fall into any of that hype. I've never been like that. I've never been one to follow a crowd. 
I've always been one where I am the odd one out and I like to be like that. Not really the odd one out. I just like to be my own person, my own being, just me, just me, just like Lulu, unedited, unedited. Um, looking over at my fragrances collection, it's the last six, last six months in particular, I haven't really added any apart from these, well, there's been six, but these five I'm going to talk to you about because, um, you settling down there, okay, Claude? Yeah. These five I'm going to talk about with gay abandon, as I normally do. Um, and they've got kind of like a special, some of, the, some of them feel really, really special. I don't want to go too deep. Let's just talk about the first one, shall we? Let's just talk about, let's just stop the garbage and talk about the first one. This first fragrance was a birthday gift that I got end of November for my birthday. And I smelt this perfume when we were in France in September. And I smelt a lot in all of the shops, in the Sephora's, the Nossi Bay's, the um marionauds which were in france and um and none none jumped out except this one and i really loved it and i don't care if people hate it but i love it and this is the new version the new tutti twilly hermes this is tutti we've got i've got the original hermes twilly which some are like Meh, about um, and I've got the ginger one, which some are like, meh, about. And I had the Eau Poivre, but I decluttered it because it just wasn't vibing with me, although I liked it. This, though. The lighty in this is so, so beautiful. And I wore this, actually, I wore this New Year's Eve, but first of all, I did wear opium, the secret opium, the flanker to the original opium, you know, vintage version, because it was my mother's birthday. But I have such a love-hate relationship with that perfume that I just had to get it off me after a couple of hours. And I needed to be in a better frame of mind. This put me in a better frame of mind. This, you can spray a little bit just on my arm here. This is uplifting. The lychee in this, the fruity, the tartness the zestiness it really punches out you're gonna get down claude and he's just knocked the camera typical man i'll just put the camera that way what are you looking at claude you've been a good boy so this one it's so fruit it's fruity floral it's a fruity floral it's got two burrows in but it just i don't know it's got this gingery lightiness and i just love it it's my neighbor who i spent new year's eve with she said i smelt absolutely beautiful wearing it she didn't comment when i was wearing opium i didn't expect her to comment um it is Opium is in a league of its own, I think. But this one, if you want really good longevity and projection, this is brilliant. So I'm going into 2024 wearing this. And yeah, Tutti Twilly by Hermes. Now, the next one we're going to talk about. It's actually my, I'm wearing it now. And it is by Lush. I wanted this for such a long time. I really did. Now I've got my glasses on, so I can't really read what's in the bloody back here. Because it's so damn small. But this is Death and Decay by Lush. You're thinking, what? Death and Decay? What? You know, it's. I sound like hyena then. Oh, 
death and yeah death and decay this is i'm going to put a bit more on and to those of you who say don't throw perfume here you can just go about your business because i'm going about my own business here and i wear perfume where i want to and how i want to and when i want to and whenever i want to and if you're that give a big thumbs up if you're mad and you spray with gay abandon like i do give a big thumbs up to this channel because it means a lot because i'm mad and i don't care but death and decay this is lilies this is jasmine this is ylang ylang this is rose this is meant to represent for me new beginnings new chapters death isn't the end by no means it's not at all and the decay oh god i can't oh it says a loving i'm really a loving no i can't read it i can't read the writing on that no i can't read it it's it has this slight, slight sweetness to it, but it's quite, it's very ethereal and it's very almost dusty. It's almost, almost church-like. It hasn't got frankincense or any type of incense in there, but it reminds me of that feel. It's, I feel it's very calming scent. It's very, it, it centers me and I really, really love it. And I've wanted it for such a long time. Have you tried Death and Decay? Um, do you like blush fragrances? I got rid of a few, still kept a few. I mean, one of my all-time favorites I've got here, Lust by Lush, which is a jasmine bomb. But this I would wear to work. This I would wear when I want to feel serene, comforted, when the angels, when I feel I want the angels just to envelop me. Yes, the name Death and Decay gives up connotations of absolute, I suppose, say bodies and maggots. <laughs> I mean, try and get out of that, get, get that image out of your head. Think of Sleeping Beauty, waiting to be kissed by the prince as she awaits a new chapter. This is how I describe it, death and decay. She awakes, has a new beginning, and yeah, I love it. So do you like death and decay? Let's talk about another one. Let's talk about another one that's going into 2024. You see, this is it. I'm just not editing stuff. I'm just not doing all of that. I'm just being me. So the next one I'm going to talk about is this will shock you. This will absolutely surprise a lot and this will shock a lot this is now let's talk about this one i've got two by the house of moogler yes two now this one i did try as a 10 mil and i'm going to show it to you yeah are you recoiling some of you or are some of you saying yes well i'm saying yes because i finally got it it's the new angel elixir by moogler yeah, it is. Let's spray it on this hand. This is orange blossom. Nothing like original angel. And look, although I love my beloved angel to the nth degree, I feel like I want another new chapter in my life. And this is going to give it to me. I've actually used it down to about here so far. I spray a lot, but this does project quite a bit, actually. I kind of sprayed a bit too much one day and thought, well, I'm going to choke somebody out. But I didn't, you know. And this, I just love it. I just love it. I said, I, I know I maybe said I wasn't going to get it, maybe. I wasn't sure, but I smelt it time and time again and i just thought my eyebrows look quite good here hmm. anyway i digress this i just i love it love it it's not like the original angel 
Eau de Parfum at all. Those of you who don't like the original Angel will actually may well like this. If you're fans of, um, what is it? Is it Vicha Vove? I, I can't pronounce it. If you're a fan of um, Prada Paradox, I've been told, or um, what's the other one? It's maybe Someone I heard say Black Opium. I don't really get that. I do get vanilla in here, but I just like I enjoy it. Since being in sobriety, my nose has changed. And I'm going to enjoy fragrances that I really, really love. Don't get me wrong, I still love my vintages. I still love my animalics, my Chypre florals. But this, yeah, you can wear this any day of the year, any time of the year. It's just a beautiful white floral with vanilla. And people will say that maybe that's generic. Maybe we'll. Some people will say that's boring. I say, I love it. I'm going to wear it. So, toodles. Let's talk about the next scent, shall we? Yeah, toodles if you want to, because I, I love it. This one, I blind bought. And I thought, oh my God, am I making a huge mistake? Well, I didn't blind buy it. I wanted it, but before I even smelt it, because I... I I, I was intrigued by the notes in it because it had this, had pear or this cactus pear note, I think. Yeah, it's alien, goddess, supra floral or supra floral. This is, now, if you love the original alien, you may well like this. I still think it has a bit of the DNA of the original alien, but it's not like, some, some have said it's like alien goddess. I don't get that at all. It's a strong scent. It's jasmine. It's got this immortel, which gives it this, that flower, which gives it, it's like this honeyed sweet feeling. Love it. What was me with the sweetness going on? There we go. So yeah, alien goddess supra floral. This. On the opening, I get, this kind of the sweetness of the pear and there is the jasmine in there and there's maybe there's some other synthetic notes in here again you could wear this this actually this and the previous scent from Mugler you could wear any time of the year they're not the strongest they're not the most projecting they do project pretty well they're not like Mugler's original DNA than they were with what they were 20 30 years ago but look what we've got, let's just embrace it. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to, sorry, I just had a bit of wind there, you know. This is how unedited in, I am at the moment. We're not going to go with, um, I mean, Moogler in its day, I mean, every a lot of people nowadays, they want things that are really strong or they want things that are really project. And sometimes, as one of my subscribers said, in a previous video, elegance can be quiet. This is actually, to me, actually quiet elegance, believe it or not, although some people would say this is quite super strong. I actually would say it's a tad stronger than this, just a tad, but they kind of draw. They're, they're at arm's length. They, they last on my skin. Well, actually, this lasts on my skin a good eight hours. The And so does... Angel Elixir, good eight hours on my skin. I'm not going to complain at that. I wore it. I've worn these to bed as well. Six, eight hours later, I can still smell it on my skin. I wear what I want to bed. Some people will say, oh, you've got to wear this scent to bed and that scent to bed. I wear what I want to wear. I don't care how rich it feels. But there we go. So Alien Supra Floral, big, big tick. It was a, could have been a hit and miss. But I'm glad I got it. My only gripe is this is 60 mil. I should have got the 120. But it was gifted. So I'm not going to gripe at that. And finally, let's move on to the last one. Now, I've had my eye on this for a long time. I had the updated version, which I really liked. And I've still got. But I wanted to get this really just for the bottle alone 
It's a classic. It is Lolita Lempica in this beautiful fairy tale bottle. And it's like a magic potion. It's, it has this licorice but if you don't like licorice, you may well still like this. I find it, oh, yes, it's slightly gourmand. It's slightly sweet. It's the packaging alone on this scent. Look at that. Oh, my nails need doing. I don't need to do my nails, but I do other people's and I always forget to do my own. But there we go. But that's the life of a nail technician. But yes, Lolita Lempica, this is just this kind of slightly licorice, cherryish. Oh, it's 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 fairyland in a bottle. And I actually this is a 50 mil. And I actually think this does outperform the updated version. Although they've, maybe they've relaunched this. I don't know. But this is a vintage one because I got it from a private seller that I've got other vintage scents from. And, um, and it was packaged. So, yeah, this is... Does anybody like Lolita Lempica? Does anybody love it? Does, every, does anybody don't like it? I'd love to hear your comments down below. But, yeah, I just think this is heavenly and magical. And it's one of the scents that I'm going to bring into 2024. You know, my nose is slightly changed, but I've still got my classics. I still love them. Um, now, going into 2024, what do you want to see more of on my channel? I'd love to hear your thoughts because I've hit now 5,100 subscribers. So... I'm amazed, completely amazed. Um, I want to try and get more video content out, just more natural, unedited. Who gives a flying fig what I look like on the camera? You know, with my hair that needs washing and my roots need redoing. And I don't give a sh I was about to swear then. I was about to swear though. You know me, I, I don't like to swear on my channel, but I don't care. I just, yeah, don't care. Don't give a flying fig. So if you want to see more content on my channel, then just, you know, tell me. I love reading every single... Your comments, my gosh, the the community in is, is amazing. It's just fantastic. And I absolutely adore it. I, I think that, as Lulu said in her video, it's her whole squad, as she calls them, that keeps her going. And... I don't know if I've got a, I've got, I've got, I've got you lot. You're, you're my squad, whoever you are. You're the, you know, you're my hashtag gay abandon squad. Let, let that be the slogan. Hashtag gay abandon. You know, spray with gay abandon squad. You know, who cares what people think? Um, just be you. That's what I say. Just be you. And you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So just be you anyway, because at the end of the day, you've only got you when the crap hits the fan. So, but what do you want to see more from me in 2024? Would you like any more vlogs? I um, also have a nail business now and I'm building up my clientele. Um, would you like, I, I don't know what to do. I, I really want to keep this more fragrance related because I do love my fragrances. I've always loved my fragrances and I'm going to um, keep up my Instagram more as well. That's one thing I'm going to do more as well. Um, the one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to people please like I used to, but then hey ho, we've all people pleased in one time or another, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm just going to be me, unapologetically me. Um, and I love it. So until next time, spray with gay abandon. I'll see you all in the next video. And I don't know where Claude is. I have no idea where Claude has gone. Claude. Claude. No. I think he's gone in the next room. He's buggered off. No.
quiet as a lamb now. Electra, hello, my darling. She won't come up on my lap, though. She's not my lap cat. Electra, no. Oh, hello, darling. I'll just, there we go. Hello, say hello, darling. No, she doesn't want to say hello. See, cats are cats, aren't they? The camera broke out there, so I do apologise for that. But I am going to stop now. Oh gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna have to hold this camera up. So I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, spray with gay abandon, and we'll see you then, darling. Come on now, come on. There we go. Bye.